And we also spoke exclusively to Vivek Chand Segal, chairman of the Samvardhana Madhusan International Group, about their growth outlook, future acquisition strategies, MOU with Saudi Arabia, and the continuing chip shortage. Hear this out. I think we are at the right place at the right time. There was a lot of uh, two, three years, five years of a bit of confusion about the automotives and all that. But I think the last COVID and the sh shortages in the logistics and the other things have actually proven mm -hmm. that it was just a, a blip on the, the screen. Uh, we are uh, very much in the uh, uh, business today of looking at automotive. A lot of car makers are asking us to take over companies, which is the right sweet spot where we are. And we like that very much because wherever there is pain in the system, we try and sort that out. And that also keeps all our factories and our growth happening all over. Right. So uh, you're saying that uh, the global headwinds, the economic challenges around the world are making many of your uh, clients, many car makers come to you for investments and acquisitions. Uh, are there particular areas or particular companies that you're looking at closely? Uh, are we looking at some deals being announced soon? We hope so, very soon. We are doing a lot of uh, due diligences and uh, looking at all the aspects of it. Uh, we don't really wake up in the morning to decide what company we're going to take over or something. We believe that the car maker is the best position to tell us where he wants comfort, and that's where we go in, and then we focus on that company and then bring it out. Right. So uh, keeping in mind uh, your uh, component manufacturers, uh, which are the countries where you would like to expand further? You're already present in about 41 countries. Recently, there was a MOU sound with Saudi, signed with Saudi Arabia. What next in terms of acquisition and expanding the international business? So I can't name the acquisitions because uh, they are in public domain. No, they're not in public domain. But uh, we, at this particular moment, may be looking at some almost seven to eight new acquisitions that are going to happen and should happen there around the corner. But I think uh, growth in new countries is going to be very, very important. And these countries are basically maybe in the Gulf side, maybe in the other places and all that. The Saudi Arabia is a kingdom of Saudi Arabia was one recent venture that we walked into. I think uh, as a group, we are today right from design to finished products to 0.5, tier 0.5, uh, we are capable. So we are able to set up a whole ecosystem which is required in countries like Kingdom of Saudi Arabia because they uh, do not have uh, car industry per se. Mm -hmm. So right from the basics, how can we build up this whole particular thing? We're thinking almost about 350, 400 million mm -hmm. US dollars worth of investment over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are very excited because two car makers are already there, and uh, we are hoping that more will happen. Mm. But uh, it's also a very interesting city where it is uh, Kayak City, it's called. It's on the other side of the uh, Saudi Arabia, towards uh, uh, um, the Suez Canal. So actually, seven days from there is Europe. So it's a great export point also mm. for us for, to support our companies in Europe. So we are very excited about that. Right. But definitely, a uh, lot of acquisitions, a lot of work to do. I have great teams, so they will do a great job. All right, uh, so there is a strong acquisition pipeline that Motherson has in mind. They are saying at least seven to eight more acquisitions possibly this year. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Center. News continues right here on CNBC TV 18. Goodbye. <laughs>